How's it going guys? My name is Falling Hertz, and if you're like me, you just saw Summer Games Fest, or at least a couple days ago, because I try not to, you know, spam people with multiple videos a day. But anyway, John Carpenter's Toxic Commando. John Carpenter's anything, as far as a game goes, is not something I thought I would see in 2023, but here we are. Of course, John Carpenter, if you didn't know, and as you should know, is a prolific horror director, or just director in general. You know, he did The Thing. You might have heard of Halloween as just a couple of horror examples. And bouncing off of that, we have this game. It seems to be a co-op zombie shooter. Yeah, it's definitely a first-person shooter. But with that being said, we're going to break down everything you need to know about Toxic Commando. First off, the game is being developed by Saber Interactive, and it's published by Focus Entertainment, who have been having a really great output lately, so I'm really excited to see everything that they're actually coming out with. And while we don't know exactly when it's coming, we know it's coming in 2024, and it's going to be coming to PS5, Xbox Series X and S, as well, of course, as PC, but that's exclusively on the Epic Games Store. As I said, you can play the game multiplayer, co-op, and of course single player as well. As for what the game actually is, you're going to need to pick a character and team up with three friends because it's time to save the world. You'll obliterate terrifying horrors of monsters in intense and FPS action. You may not be the best team of mercenaries, but you are a toxic commando. And on the store page, we do actually get a little bit more about the game. And that is that in the near future, an experimental attempt to harness the power of the Earth's core ends in a terrifying disaster, the release of the Sludge God. This eldritch abomination begins terraforming the area, turning soil to scum and the living to undead monsters. However, the genius behind the experiment has a plan to make things right. All he needs is a team of competent, highly trained mercenaries to get the job done. Unfortunately, they were all too expensive which is why he's hired the Toxic Commandos. You will take control of one of the Commandos, team up with your friends, and send the Sludge God and its horde of things that should never be back to the Underworld. You'll choose the class that matches your playstyle, pile into your favorite ride, and unload an array of gunfire, grenades, special abilities, and freaking katanas as you save the planet. So as you see here, there's obviously, even just in this text, a lot of emphasis on the kind of, you know, haha -ha funny humor of it, and I really, really appreciate that. I hope the game fully emphasizes this and, you know, lives up to that. I think the trailer also did a really good job. You've got the one character who's singing along to You Give Love a Bad Name, and he's singing Shot Through the and he's singing off-key. It's so great. I love it. But if you're the kind of person who likes buddy movie vibes and the over-the-top humor, action, and horror of classic 80s cinema inspired by the legendary John Carpenter, or teaming up with friends to face down hordes of monsters who want to eat your face, an explosive cocktail of visceral FPS action and apocalyptic environments, upgrading your skills and testing new abilities against increasingly hardcore challenges, then this may be the game for you. Or, of course, you know, if you're really plain and you just like saving the planet against impossible odds, then now's your time to go commando, which I am going right now as I'm recording this video. And while that's all we get about the game directly from text and talking about the game, I want to say that Focus Entertainment has been doing a really good job with output recently. And that to me breeds a lot of confidence, but as I wanted to end out this video, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a trailer breakdown. Of course, it opens with a computer-generated shot, you know, kind of introducing some of the characters. Seemingly, these will be the characters that we can choose from. And they are, of course, riding in a kitted-out vehicle, which was emphasized within the gameplay as we can see a mounted gun and shooting out of the vehicle, which is really interesting. But then you've got the reveal of some of the monsters, which look very, I would almost say Dead Space-esque. They're very creepy looking, and I really love that. And then it cuts to actual in-game, and we see it's a little stuttery, but we've got a lot of, you know, even melee action shooting, giant hordes of zombies, RPGs, some projectile enemies, which is really cool. They're not just all melee focused, so it's not like Call of Duty zombies. you got some bigger ones that are there. Seemingly a couple of different vehicles, from what I can tell. You've got zombies climbing on the sides of them, ramrods, shooting. First person looks really cool, actually multiple vehicles even. And what's really showing off to me is the emphasis of these different environments. They look visually stunning. 
as you go from day to night in these different places, the fire effects look really good. The shock from one of the abilities. I'm really curious to see what other abilities there will be, but I think this game looks really interesting. But that's really all there is as of right now. Saber Interactive is a pretty competent developer. Focus is a really good publisher. So I'm really excited for this game. And if you are too, let me know why down below. John Carpenter, he's a legend. I'm a legend, so consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.